Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video to complement our stock scanner membership service on Wave5Trade. So our members get long and short trade signals every day on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame for those potential fifth wave moves. So that's the highest probability move in a trend. So today, after the pullback on Thursday, I've gone for the 60 minute time frame on long trades. Uh, so our members simply click on the long trades here, click the image, download the spreadsheet. So a quick look at the spreadsheet. There's lots of potential trades setting up on the 60 minute here for today. Um, Big caveat though, it is Friday. You've got to be careful, make sure you're conservative because you may have to carry it over to Monday, even though it's on a six minute time frame. So let's have a look at a chart and see what I've chosen. Okay, so I've gone for CNP on the 60 minute time frame. Now I've zoomed out here just to show you that this is trading in a range. Um, on the 60 minute time frame way, from way back uh, to February. So this is a good looking trade and respects stochastics well, traders up and down in, in this range. And now we've presented with a potential fifth wave move in the in the range. So this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader version, but it is available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and the multi charts. So first of all, about the membership at scanner results. So we've got specific filters on there. So the 535 oscillator, as you can see here on the wave four pullback, has pulled back between 90 and 140%. Big tick in the box. The stochastic has pulled back against our false breakout indicator here with the yellow dots. It's pulled back into the oversold zone. And it's those yellow dots, uh, it's like an elastic band stochastic. It wants to return to that strong bullish move. Okay, uh, the wave four pullback has pulled back and found support into our red zone, into our uh, automated probability pullback zones. Now that's a 75% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone here around about 2750, which is almost right at the top of the range here. So we're, we're looking to train to trade the uh, the trade getting back up into the top of that range that it's trading at the moment. So setting this up is reasonably simple. Um, those that have got the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, all I've done is isolated the wave count at the bottom of the range at this low here. And then we've got the automated wave count here, wave one, wave two, wave three, and the wave fours pull back. So very, very simple software does a great deal for you and now we just need to set up this potential trade so we remember we have the 6-4 moving average high here the uh, the green moving average part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite that gives us our entry so we need to be above that for the first 60 minute bar of today's session so that gives us an entry at 2714 the stop loss is just below the wave four, just below the low of yesterday, around about 26.90, 26.89, something like that. And then your target's 27.50, 27.52 into that blue zone there. So that gives us, with a conservative entry, of a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6. And it couldn't be simpler than that. We give you the raw data on the membership site for these potential swing trades on 60 minute, daily and weekly timeframes every day. Remember, the fifth wave move is the highest probability move in an Elliott Wave sequence in a trend. OK, once we've got that, if you've got the Elliott Wave indicator suite, it makes it a little more simple because we can isolate those wave counts. We can see everything on there and we can set it up very, very simply. Uh, and then it's just a matter of um, getting that entry correct. Nice and conservative in these volatile markets and looking to get to that target. Now, we may not reach there today, so you may be, have to be prepared to carry this trade over. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day and a great weekend. And I'll speak to you all on Monday.